Right, this is a video log for laying uh, GTEC fibre from Carpet Gallop. There's all the 20 bags of fibre ready to go down as a topper for this sand paddock. It's been down about 15 years now, but does require a lot of maintenance because it does bank up round the edges. And you'll be able to see those photographs of the earlier stages of flattening it all out. It was regularly harrowed. However, it did ride a track after riding and the edges raised up. So it's taken us quite a few hours of work with just rakes and shovels and a tractor with a scoop on to be able to dig all the corners out and try and get them as flat as possible. We're now ready to harrow it and then I'll show you how we put the surface topper down and how easy or difficult that is. I tried to look for videos of people laying to see how easy it was or the best way to do it and there wasn't a lot on the internet so I'm hoping this might provide some useful information for people in the future who are considering carpet gallop GTEC fibre. Now we've got now we've got the sand paddock as flat as we can. Get out! Oh, dog! We're just harrowing it. To get it as flat as possible. The only equipment that we have got is the tractor and the harrow and rakes and shovels and only the two of us so we'll see from this video how hard or how easy it is for two people to lay the carpet gallop fiber these are the dogs that are causing bother today and these are my wonderful bags of GTEC fibre. Okay. So now we're sectioning off the sand paddock into squares or rectangles so that we know on average where each bag will be laid so we can get a more even smooth surface. Here's the first bag going down in the first area that we've done it looks much easier than the videos I've seen before where they originally came in really tight compacted bales and I think a lot of people had problems trying to uh, break it all up a bit like when you get your sawdust for your horse stables it's all compacted and you have to break up the clumps this is all soft and I think this is going to be an easier job so we just hook the handles, tied them to the tractor scoop so we can lift it and then we just use the Stanley knife on the bottom to open up the bags and it easily falls out. Kyle's done. Continuing the diary. This time I thought we'd get the other worker in. She does do something occasionally. <laughs> I'll die later. Tractor, of course. The next bale, number six of 20, about to go down. Five down, 25% of bales down. And 1 20th of the square is nearly done. We're getting there. Let me see we're getting there. And of course there's a standard helper group as well. Well, is the carpet fibre soft? Do the dogs want to sit on wet sand? Uh, no. They're not soft. Looking good. Easily going down. 
There's only two of us and I think we've done a good job so far. A good workout, but be worthwhile. Early morning, Sunday morning start. Back on trying to lay the GTEC fibre. If we hadn't had to sort the sand paddock out yesterday, we probably would have got all this done in a day. Um, but we only had yesterday afternoon and of course it's winter so it goes dark at 4.30. So we are up on a completely beautiful morning in January and we're continuing onwards with laying the fibre. Right guys, 80% of the way there. It's half past 10 in the morning and we've been going for an hour and we've done over 50% in that hour. So just a few more to go. And I might even get time to ride in it and show everybody once it's rolled how it rides. <coughs> Well, it's half past 12 in the afternoon and all the bags are laid and down so now's the job of getting the roller and two of us have done this and it would have been less than a day had we been able to have a whole day on it but two half days and look how wonderful it is and it was very easy to shift around and move nice and soft not compacted I definitely re recommend carpet gallop GTEC fiber easy to do so we just get it rolled and then I'll show you the final the final finished arena here we are on the rolling stage Ta da finished. <coughs> Get out. Okay. Keep the phone in your pocket for now. <laughs> <laughs> 